Police say a group of more than a dozen people went on a shooting rampage, aiming in that direction at another group standing in front of those two homes. When the shooting stopped, the suspects left behind more than 30 bullet casings. Just three houses down, another family crawled on the ground when they heard those shots ring out. This is an all too familiar scene. <laughs> Rita, we know you're in a far better place, but still we will always miss you. You left us here thinking of your pretty face, so beautiful you grew up. Things all around me screamed out, so innocent and sweet. You hardly knew what anything was about. Now Grandpa waits for you to greet. The family loved you so much, your great big smile will miss. Our hearts you touched, your laughter was bliss. Rita Bell, we love you, and I pray you heard all this. Inspired your loving sister, Sonia Martinez. One of our secretaries in the office came up with the idea, wouldn't it be wonderful if people wanted to have a lasting memory of Rita, that they could purchase a book to be kept in the library, and there's a little sticker in the front of each book saying who donated it and in memory of Rita. And it's the most popular bookshelf in the library. We can't keep those books in stock. A lot of thought went into which books the kids wanted to pick. They weren't just going to pick anything. They really wanted something that Rita would have enjoyed or that embodied the values that Rita had. And they chose some wonderful stories. I picked those books out, Harry Potter, because I used to tell her about them always after school. <coughs> and so I picked them out for our library until they could just remember Rita that way and her friends could remember her. I picked this book out because she used to like Barbies and reading Barbie books and she used to pick out Barbie books from the library. And she always liked Judy B. Jones and all them little characters where they like play games in the books so I picked her one like that. I read this book about a diary of a young girl and that she might like it because she likes uh, reading books and real stories about people. She did a lot of writing in her journal and everything that she wrote about was her family and her grandmother and her mother and things she liked to do and books and dolls and toys. But she had this compassion that not all of my always fourth graders at that time would have. I had a great weekend. I went to a birthday party at my aunt's house, and then I helped my grandmother clean up the yard, or I, you know, and she found joy in, in making other people happy, and she was, she was very angelic. She always look at me and make a smile. And I always look at her and make a smile, but her is bigger. She liked to play jump rope and she was kind of funny. Playing tag, and I remember every time she tried to get someone, and she always used to chase after me, and then a lot of people started complaining because she didn't chase after them. So I let her get me, and so I started chasing after the other people. When 
she came out from the lunch. We used to play on the playground. And when it was winter time, every time we saw snow, me and Monica made and made our footprints in the snow. And we said we'd be best friends forever. And she was nice. And she had pretty long hair. And she liked her favorite subject was math. And she liked the favorite, her favorite color was pink and purple. <laughs> the pink radio I got her for Christmas, but then I got her the silver box. They had like a bunch of jewelry, but it was all diamonds. It was play diamonds, but they looked real. When she was sitting there opening her gifts, um, she took out the radio and she went, and her eyes got real big, and then she did the diamond one, and she jumped up and ran in her room with her stuff real quick, and she sat there and put on her um, Mambo number no. five tape CD in, cause she liked it. That one had just barely came out. I guess was it this summer or last summer? Cause it said a little bit of Rita. I told Rita, well, when I get my car, I'll just take you to McDonald's, just me and you. And it was kind of, you know, weird when I got the car, cause I was thinking, well, Rita isn't here anymore. I can, I can never take her out to eat at McDonald's. You know, just us two anymore. For the birthdays. She's always a person, like it, like it's her birthday all the time. It's somebody's birthday, she's the one right in front of the cake, all happy, ready to eat it, because she was, used to like eating sweets, you know. They, my grandma, too, my grandma would always share with her the cake and stuff. She tried helping me with wash dishes, but I never told her not to do it. She would do it, but when she wasn't looking or she went upstairs to play with the cats, my other granddaughter's cat, I used to rewash them again and re rinse them before she came down, so she wouldn't know that I had done it over again. Because she would leave soap in it. And... Sometimes she'd read out loud because she wouldn't know how to read in her head. Like she'd be reading in her head for a little while, but then all of a sudden she'd burst out saying, reading out loud, and we'd just all look at her and we'd wait for her to notice herself. And then when she'd look up, she'd start laughing and laughing. <laughs> I remember when I used to go in her room and mess up, mess, take one of her Barbie dolls and I used to run with it. And she used to chase me and tell me to give it back to her. See over there? That's how she looks, her smile. And she, when she took her picture, she had her hair up like that, how she had it. Her very favorite, favorite stuff was her Spice Girls. <laughs> she liked them because um, they seemed real good, she said. And she liked it, her mom and me and <laughs> my dad. Rita wasn't supposed to go yet. That's come I haven't unpacked her dressers or because I didn't get to tell her bye and she didn't get to tell me bye and usually when it's meant there's usually a a sign, you know, it's that last goodbye, Mom. Oh, I didn't like these jeans, but she did. Every day she would call me from school, make sure if I ate, if I fed my dog, and if I took my pills. That was Rita.
And that day she made my grandma a card. She was taking it to her. I was doing my homework and I said, what are you doing? And I'm like, something. And then, then that day we, she died when she was making my grandma that card. And we went home and that card was under the pillow. And it said, don't show nobody this. This is for grandma. She found it. She forgot to bring it for my grandma. Roses are red, violets are blue, and I love you. And she's got my mom's dog, Bear, the dog house, my mom's house, and the tree. And she's got her name, Rita Martinez. Mm.